Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I have a new layout to share for the Paige Evans design team, and I'm going to be using Paige's Go the Scenic Route collection for this. And I wanted to start with some chipboard. I tend to use the smaller pieces on most of my pages, and I want to start with some of the big pieces. And I know that I want to use those two bright flowers, and that got me in the mood to create a summer beach page. So I have a couple pictures here of me and my husband at uh, the beach in the Bahamas. And then I'm going to also use Paige's stencil called Sunburst Rays because if I'm making a beach page, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I'm going to have a sun on there somewhere. So that stencil was a no-brainer. Now I'm going to go ahead and peel off the sticky part of these chipboard pieces because I'm nowhere near ready to stick them down. I want to be able to move them around and kind of, you know, create the actual design before I, I know where they're going to go. Um, I want to try to use this map. It's like a, a corkboard map. Um, and I'm going to start to play around with them without even any background paper here. I just kind of want to get an idea of what I want to do. And I'm going to overlap the photos kind of like you see here because the bottom photo is just of the horizon and the water. Um, it's just a beautiful scenery shot. And so I felt like the top photo had us in it and it was you know, the more important of the photos. So I wanted that one to overlap the scenery photo. So I kind of have an idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a lot of mixed media on the background. Uh, so I just decided to go with a white, thick, smooth cardstock for the background. This is the Marshmallow from Basil. And I'm using Art Basics Finnebear Clear Gesso. I'm going to go ahead and coat the whole thing to prep it for all the stuff that I'm going to do to it. And I'm going to start with a stencil. And since I'm going to have the photos stacked vertically and then the flowers kind of peeking out from them and then the map on the bottom, I thought I would have the sun kind of peeking out to the left side of everything. So I'm going to use modeling paste here. This is the Liquitex brand and a little plastic palette knife. And I'm just going to scrape the paste right over the stencil. And the photos and everything are going to cover the center of the sun. So I'm just going to be looking for the rays. I'm just going to kind of basically trying to create the illusion of the sun on that side of everything. And I want these rays to be kind of bumpy and uneven and a little bit on the textured side. Well, actually a lot on the textured side. But um, I'll let that dry. You can kind of see there. You'll see it more in a minute when I add color to it. But that's kind of the... The design basically a big cluster of the photos and the chipboard so here's where the magic happens i'm going to use some shimmers and i'm using a couple of yellow flavors uh, flavors why <laughs> how about shades or colors this is not ice cream um goodness i don't know where flavors came from but i'm using mustard seed i'm using no yoking and glorious day those are all shimmer sprays and look how you can instantly see the, t the texture paste show up. It like pops right off the page. And I love that. And I mean, a lot of people shy away from mixed media because they think it's challenging. But I mean, you saw how easy that was. You scrape the paste, you let it dry, you spray some color on it, and the work is done. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to do. It's just, you know, you got to be willing to get a little bit messy. And you have to be patient because it does take some time to dry. But I'm okay with that. Um, so I know that on top of the sun side, the pink flower is going to be over there. And then if you remember, the yellow flower is going to be on the right. And so I kind of flip flop the colors, but naturally I wanted the sun to be yellow. Um, but since the yellow flower is on the right side of the photos, I wanted a contrasting color behind it. So I'm going to go with pink and, um, I'm using sweetheart and pink stilettos and ruby. Those are all from Shimmers also. And another thing that I love about pink and yellow for a beach page is usually, you know, in your summer, whether it's the beach or the pool, whatever, there's a lot of blue in the photos. So you've got plenty of blue going on in your pictures. So that's why I wanted to add other colors to make that pop. You can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Not only does the pink and the yellow pop, but the blue in the photos pop too. And that's something that I always try to achieve on my layouts. I want the background to stand out. I want the photos to stand out. I try to make everything stand out in its own way 
without it being too distracting and taking away from the photos, if that makes sense. Um, I'm letting the background dry for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and layer up a little bit of tissue paper behind my photos here. And this is just going to create a little bit of a layer behind the photos. I'm not sure if I'm going to layer anything else behind both of the photos. I do pull out this orange pattern paper here from the uh, Go the Scenic Route collection. I chose orange to layer behind the top photo because uh, it's, it's a color that I haven't used yet. And I wanted to include all the tropical colors. So I've already got lots of blue, lots of pink, and lots of yellow. And so I thought orange would be a nice color to add behind that. And it's also going to help the top photo stand out a little bit more since it's going to be layered on top of the bottom photo. All right, so I'm going to see what I've got so far. I really like how this background is looking. It looks kind of crazy without anything on top of it, but it makes more sense when you put everything back. So that's why I most of the time like to start with my my big design pieces and see where it's going to go and then decide where to add the mixed media. Sometimes I do it back I do it backwards. It just depends, you know. Um it depends on the the photos, depends on the embellishments. Every, you know, every layout's different. Now this is what I wanted to do to add a little bit of blue. I have the Crystal Nouveau drops and I never use them for drops. I like to scrape them on a background just like this. And this color is called Caribbean Ocean. I didn't even know that. How perfect. Because that's where we were. I love this. It's very soft and sheer. You can see how soft and light the color is. But I'm just kind of squirting it onto the page and then using my palette knife to scrape it down. And you know what is so cool about this, uh, the Nouveau Drops, is when it dries, well, when you use it like this, it dries glassy and shiny. And so it looks wet. And so if you're going for the effect of water, this is perfect because it looks wet when it's dry. I'll show you here in a minute once it's, uh, when, once it is dry, but I love this. And I do let, let the first layer dry and add in a little bit more to darken it up. But um, I thought I would just try something different since I'd use the shimmers for the, the yellow and the pink. Uh, and I didn't want to add a whole lot more blue, just some little hints to make it, you know, kind of echo the water aspect. And yeah, I'm trying to collect more colors of this Nouveau Crystal Drops. And I do add some splatters with the shimmers. That's Jenny B. Blue, of course, my favorite blue shimmers of all time. Um, but yeah, highly suggest, if you like mixed media, try the Nouveau Drops like this because you get a really cool effect. So I'm going to use all the colors again, some yellow splatters, some pink splatters, I haven't glued anything down yet. We're not to that stage yet. Um, still working on the background, but here you can see what I'm talking about. I added a little bit more, but look at it. It looks like water. It looks wet. It's a whole different look than the shimmers. The shimmers are going to give you that shimmery, uh, glittery, depending on what kind you use, but the uh, Nouveau Drops dry glassy. It looks like it looks wet. I love that, especially because it's water, right? Now, this is something I don't think I've ever done. I don't think I've ever added stickers onto a photo like this. I couldn't decide which of the puffy word stickers to use and which color. I liked relax. I liked adventure. I liked travel. I finally decide on the yellow travel and I'm going to stick the title. Well, at, the, at this point, it's the title right onto the picture and then I machine stitch through it. I don't think I've ever stitched on a photo, but I did. And I love this. And I, I felt like this photo, it was okay to do that because it's just, like I said, it's a scenery shot and there's a lot of sky going on. So I'm not covering up anything important and it's kind of a subtle thing. I don't know. I, it just kind of popped into my head and I thought, I want to do that. And I think it turned out kind of cool. So like, I definitely wouldn't do that to the photo of me and my husband because, you know, there's not a lot of excess room in the photo. I mean, you can see the beach or the, the water behind us, but it's a totally different kind of photo than the bottom one. And it's rare that I scrap photos of just scenery, but I felt like since these were two small photos, you know, and then we're in one and then it's kind of showing you, you know, our view. So that's why I thought it would be kind of cool to do that. 
Um, I'm going to use that document this piece, and it's kind of on the red orangey side. And I don't really have anything else on the layout in that color, but I just felt like it worked because all of these colors are so bright and tropical. They just kind of all make sense together in a, a layout like this. Normally, I try to um, use multiple things of each color. So like I would use multiple pink items, multiple yellow, multiple blue. But in this case, I don't really feel like I have to use multiple red things. Uh, I just kind of liked how it looked, and so I'm going to use it. Um, I'm going to tuck in some more flowers. I'm using the floral die cuts. The um, I'm going to do some fussy cutting. Uh, some of these papers are from the 12 by 12 paper pad, um, but this bird paper is also, it's paper number 15, I believe, but um, I wanted some smaller birds. I had a chipboard bird, but it was just too big, and I couldn't find a spot for him, so I'm going to fussy cut out some of these papers, or papers, paper birds to use in a couple spots because they're just smaller and they, they fit better, because at this stage of the layout, I feel like I need to look for smaller things, except this big blue flower that I fussy cut out. And I think I cut that one out from paper number two. Um, it's one of the papers that is basically just a bunch of flowers. Um, so I tucked that under there on the bottom. I just wanted to bring a flower down to that area. And um, I didn't want it to stand out too much. And so I, I kept it light blue to kind of blend into that blue area on the background. And then I'm going to add a pop of the darker blue thread. Well, it's not really blue. It's kind of a aqua turquoise color. So I guess that's technically some kind of blue. Um, I'm going to do yellow thread over on the yellow side. And that just adds some texture. It just adds some interest. Uh, I've, I think I use thread on every layout. I know some people are like, why do you do that? Why do you use thread? And I don't know. I just did it one time years ago. And I thought, that looks really cool. I like how that looks kind of coming out from behind the photo. And so... It just became a thing and then I started collecting every color I could find and so yeah I don't know I just you know me I like my texture I like color and I think thread is good for just little pops of color that little piece of uh, thread that I use there is kind of that reddish color so I guess technically I do use two red things and I just finished saying that I wasn't going to apparently I lied because I did add some thread in that color but Sometimes we lie in scrapbooking videos, right? I'd just forgotten about that. <laughs> um, I did stitch again through the photo on the bottom, the document this. I went ahead and stitched through it, and I'm going to start to glue things down. I did add some adhesive foam behind the photos because the chipboard pieces are really thick, so I don't want the photos to kind of sag down since they're on top of those flowers. I want them to be all the same level. So um, I made sure that they weren't going to just kind of smush down. So that's where the adhesive foam comes in. And I actually had to double it up because those chipboard pieces are really thick. Thicker than my adhesive foam. So I doubled up on that. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that all is glued down because things rarely like to stick to gesso. And then when you add mixed media on top of it, you know, especially with the texture paste, things get uneven and bumpy and rough. So you have to make sure things are glued down. Um, I fussy cut out a couple more flowers that I'm going to tuck in. And then I'm going to try to find a home for these little birds. I tried to again space the color around. So I put another yellow flower up top and then a really dark pink one there to the left and then I want to try to figure out where to go, where the birds are going to go. Um, I'm going to put one there to the left of the horizon photo there um, and I like the way the bird is looking in toward the photo because I don't want the bird looking away from the beach because you know it was so beautiful you couldn't look away from it and then this bird the pink one is going to go right here and he's going to sit on the map because he's looking the other way and he's also looking at the photo. And um, I tried to find a little home for that bird, but we're gonna wait and see. At this point, I'm not sure where he's gonna go. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. I just wanted to kind of show you the textures and the dimension and the shine from the crystal drops. Look at that. It looks wet, but it's not. I'm telling you that stuff is so cool. I love that. 
I cannot wait to use more colors on future projects. Um, so the more I looked at this, the more I thought I need something along one of the edges. So I'm just going to hack off a piece of the left side of the page and then run it through my edge distressor there. And I couldn't decide if I wanted to use yellow, orange, or blue. And then I felt like blue was the best choice. And I'm just going to use this little piece that I have left from a previous project. I'm going to slice off two edges there and then attach it to the side. And I'm just going to use this other paper to make sure that I get it the right width. And then just kind of glue it down. So I had this little blue edge along the left side of the page. I don't know. I like white backgrounds. And I don't always do this. But sometimes I just feel like the outer edges are just too plain. And I want to jazz them up a little bit. And I'm not going to do this around the entire square. But I did want to add some interest to at least one side. Uh, because, you know, everything's kind of one big cluster. This design, I would call this just a big cluster design. Everything's around the photos, nice and tight. And then that leaves all the white space around the edges. So I just felt like something needed to be done over there. Um, I'm going to go small for the title. I'm going to go with The Perfect Day. And this is from the Puffy Phrase Stickers. And this literally was The Perfect Day. I mean, we were in the Exumas in the Bahamas. And we took a boat tour. And it lasted all day. It was from like 9 to 5. And we were just on this boat with this tour guide. And we just rode a boat all day long listening to Caribbean music and touring all of these gorgeous islands. We saw this island that Tim McGraw owns with his house on it. Ugh. I was like, I need to live there. We saw um, several islands that David Copperfield owns. It was so cool. It was just gorgeous. I mean, everywhere you looked, I'm not kidding. The water looks like that. If you've never been to a Caribbean island, you got to go at least once if you can, because it's just stunning. It is, it is, you know, you see it on TV or in magazines and you're thinking that can't be real. It really is. It was like a, a swimming pool. And um, if you look at the bottom photo there, that, that light part of the water was a sandbar and it was in the middle of all this deep water. And so we parked the boat, got out, walked around on the sandbar. It was just, you could not believe your eyes. And the photos don't do it justice, really. It was, it was really the perfect day. So that was the perfect title. All I'm doing now is creating a little cluster over here on the left. Um, again, to kind of break up some of the white space. And I'm just kind of going with the colors. Again, I'm going with a little bit of yellow, a little bit of pink, um, some of the green leaves. And I am going to pop it up to add a little bit of dimension there. And this is where the third little bird is gonna go. And he's looking in the right direction. He's a little bit far from the water, but he's thinking, I need to get over there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker blue thread on that section as well, just for some more texture and little pops of color. Love that. But yeah, I had to mess with it a few times to get it just so, because my fingers were sticky from all the gluing and so, <laughs> note to self, wipe off glue before trying to loop thread. It will stick to your hands. Things I should know after many, 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 many layouts. But, yeah. Anyway, all right, here's where we're at so far. Again, I'm really liking this. I'm going to add my journaling. And I'm going to use my gold metallic pen because I just felt like this was a summery, sunny layout. I didn't want to use black ink because there's really no black elements or no, there are no black elements on the layout. So I'm going to use my gold pen and I'm going to use my T-square ruler to draw the lines and then write my journaling. And then I'm going to add some gold splatters. You know, if I have gold pen, I got to have gold splatters. And this is the Jen Hatfield gold glitter spray, which I got in a hip kit over a year ago. But anyway, that's the final project. I really love how this turned out. These are my favorite kind of layouts to make. Summer, sunny, beachy, bright, tropical. Oh man, these colors are just, I will never get sick of using all of these bright colors. The tropical flowers, man, just so, so pretty. And I was glad to use some of the big chipboard pieces because what happens is I'll make my layout and then I go to look for embellishments and I pull out the chipboard sheet and it's too late in the design process to use the large pieces. So I thought, 
start with the large pieces and then build your layout around that. So that was kind of a lesson I learned here or the challenge that I gave myself was to, if you've been having a piece or a couple pieces that you want to use but they never seem to work, on your next layout, start with those pieces and then make everything else work around it. And that's, you know, a guarantee that you're going to use those pieces. And so, you know, I just, that was one of the embellishments that I have been trying to use and I wait too late to do it. But start with it and there you go. Anyway, I did a lot, uh, took a lot of close-ups here. I hope you guys got some fun ideas and got some inspiration. And I uh, just want to say I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.